All right, so tonight I wanted to do just a quick rundown on these new lights that I put up in my garage. Uh, I hear people refer to these lights sometimes as the fan blade looking lights or helicopter lights. And whenever I was hearing this in conversation, I was curious as to what they were. And I had heard a lot of talk about everybody with new homes being built. We're putting these things up in their garage and this house that we recently purchased had older LED light bulbs that were around 800 to 900 lumens a piece. And in this particular garage, there are six different um, outlets or six different sockets in here. Uh, you can see I've got these installed now where the old light bulbs used to be and it is insane the amount of difference that there is in these lights compared to what we had in here before it's almost like a surgeon's room in a hospital i mean it's it's that bright and i couldn't be any more impressed i picked these up for 40 dollars a piece and i mean you can't you can't really beat it we had a gift card so you're looking at uh, you know a couple hundred dollars to really really brighten up your garage in the matter of I think 20 to 30 minutes is what it took me to install these so if you want a way to brighten up your garage really really quickly this is the way to go um, I will say that I planned on making this video for a little while now I've had these in for probably a month and I went and grabbed my camera to make this video and I'll go ahead and walk you over here and show you something funny that's that's kind of happened um, here. Actually, today was the first time that I noticed it. And so far, it's the only complaint that I have. I'm not really sure what caused this, but it's actually hanging, hanging from the um, socket up there. It looks like it pulled apart. So I'm going to get up there in a minute and kind of dissect what happened, but it's just, it's just hanging from where it's installed. So I don't know if I need to go up and tighten some screws, but that's the only one I've had an issue on so far. And, um, something cool that these, these lights also have featured is the motion sensor. And it's just a little switch that's located, um, somewhere in here on each light and you can turn that on or you can leave it off like I have it in the garage now so that whenever I flip the lights on in here they stay on but I can go up and I'll just go ahead and do that for you real quick I can go up here and flip the motion sensors on and what that would allow me to do is leave the light switch on whenever I wanted and the light should kick on and off automatically. So, can't really see anything, it's so bright. But another cool feature though about these that I'll go ahead and show you is that these can be aimed. So, I don't know if you can see that, I turned that one out. Turn that one up. They do put off a little bit of heat, I'm feeling that right now. But now I can see what I'm doing, um, so. Over on this side, I'll try to swing the camera over there and I'll go ahead and turn the uh, motion sensor on and then we'll walk away for a second and see if it kicks off for us. While we're waiting on that though, I'll go ahead and go over this a little bit more. So on the box, you can see that this has 6,000 lumens per light fixture and that is way brighter. The, the light bulbs that I had in here before were only 900 lumens. So we are well above what we were and probably using less energy. And you can see that light just kicked off. So now we'll walk back over there and it's back on. So um, I particularly don't like that so much because I don't want to walk from one side of the garage to the other and have them kicking on and off constantly. But I could see where some people would use that. I just, I haven't gotten used to it yet. So I'm just gonna keep them, keep the motion sensor off. But um, so far so good with these things. And they should last a lot longer than your typical light bulb on the box. It claims that it can do 30 years. So I might have to check in with you in 30 years from now and, 
and tell you if these uh, lights made it that long, but um, yeah, you can aim them. They have motion sensors and they're just way brighter than what I'm used to. And I'm really blown away by them so far. And I was a little skeptical at the beginning just because you can see it's got the um, as seen on TV little logo. And whenever I saw that in the store, I was like, I'm not so sure about these, you know, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if these things are going to be capable of um, keeping up. But so far, I'm super impressed and, you know, kind of blown away by them, honestly. And I think it's just a great way to light your garage up, um, maybe put these on a porch. They're not, the only thing I will say is they're not uh, visually attractive. They're not something that um, you're going to look at and be like, man, that's a good looking light, which I don't think you'll do anyways, but they do kind of stick out like a sore thumb. That's if they're turned off, but if they're turned on, they're so dang bright. You can't even, you can't even look at them. So I wouldn't worry about that too much, but, um, I'm going to go ahead and open the garage doors and then back out and give you a wider view. Excuse the mess in our garage, but I want to give you this wider view and then I'm going to swap them out to the old light bulbs and just show you the difference. And I've got my camera set on manual as far as the settings go. So whenever I swap these out, you should still see the same brightness. I don't know if this really does a very good representation. As you can see, that one just kicked off, but we'll go ahead. We'll swap the old light bulbs out and that'll kind of show you just how quick that this process can go. Okay, so I went ahead and got all the old light bulbs back in, and I hope that you can tell how much darker it actually is. Um, I've actually got this light plugged in, which is probably helping it a little bit, but yeah, it's it, it's an insane amount of difference as far as uh, brightness goes, and I mean, that's just directly correlated to the amount of lumens that these LEDs can put off. Um, these are 6,000 lumens. I probably already mentioned that once, but you can see that there, I think it said there's 144 LEDs total in here. And I believe this is the motion sensor part of it, but just a little bit of a closer look at how all these, how these things can fold. Um, they can fold almost up to 90 degrees, which you can't, I don't think you can actually get it up to 90 degrees because of the ceiling being in the way, but I don't know why you'd want to do that anyways. But this is the one that was uh, suspended from the, light socket and I just want to give you a little bit closer look at what I think happened to it and um, so you can see all the internal wiring is exposed here and then you go in here and you look at this area where the plastic was going around the screws and they all broke in like the same spot and that's a a concerning thing to me because this is this piece here is holding the weight of this whole thing as far as these screws and these little plastic pieces that contain the screws where it actually broke um, so it, it seems like it's holding quite a bit of weight which these are not heavy but they are heavier than your standard light bulb so that's something to keep in mind um, I hope that this doesn't start a trend and the rest of them do it, but I will be sure to let you guys know in the comments of this video below, and I'll be sure to pin that to the top if I have any more do this. And it will also be good that I'll let you guys know um, as far as the warranty goes on these. I'm going to have to read up on the box and see if I can't return these to where I purchased them at at Home Depot or maybe send them back to the manufacturer. I'm really kind of doubtful that I'll be able to do that because I don't know that I still have the receipt. But maybe I'll be able to take some pictures of how this thing broke and um, they'll make it right. But I'll, I'll be sure to update you on that. And something that I was originally thinking that my wife might have knocked this off and broke these screws with the attic ladder. But she swears that she didn't do it, so I believe her. Um, but yeah, they, they're all consistently broken in the same spot. And it almost just looks like the screws 
or too big for the area and they just had too much pressure on the, the plastic area that contains them and it caused it to break but enough of that um, like I said I'll update you let you know if any more do that but that would be the only hesitation that I'd have to buy these things and especially with them being 30 to 40 dollars a piece and they're supposed to last 40 years um, we'll see if we get that out of it but I mean I think it's a great bang for your buck you're probably saving money uh, with the efficiency of the LEDs and you're definitely brightening things up a little bit so if you guys like this video or want to see more product reviews like this one some more home improvement type of stuff Go ahead and drop it in the comments below. Let me know if you like this video. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. I'll put a direct link to this in the comments or in the video description. And the, it will be an affiliate link. So we might make a small commission off of it if you decide to purchase it through that link and help us out. So until next video, um, I, hope, I hope you go out and purchase some of these. and brighten up your garage because I think it's I think it's a great product other than it being suspended you know but one for six hey I'll take those odds